All right, welcome back. Today I want to talk to you about companions. This would be combat, non-combat, pet type companions, and these are going to be in video games. This is Forever Skies here today. We're going to talk about this little guy right here. And if we look here, you can see he is the friendly insect. This is part of the main storyline. I'm not going to go too heavy into spoilers on that part where you get him, but you can acquire him, and he's got some cute little gear on him. This sporty backpack does give you a little bit of inventory space. If I look here, you get 12. It used to be a whole lot more. It was bigger than this at first. Uh, this came out with patch EA.1.5.3 on June 27th. It was called the Pet Patch, or Pet the Pet Patch. I will show you where you can make this gear. It is in the ship workshop. We have the sporty set. Now, I saw an image of three different sets. I have not been able to find three different sets. I haven't uncovered every stone everywhere, but it is what it is. So we're going to allow him to follow us by holding the E button. Now, he has some weird collision. They are still working on that. He's going to have some trouble trying to get to you, but he will eventually just, there he goes, teleports right to you. Now, there's a couple good things about him that I think Far From Home is doing right that a lot of games mess up pretty... S <laughs> Come on, guy. Let's get up here. He, he does have some issues. There he is. That others get wrong. So first off, he has no collision. And that's great because I can't tell you how many times I've had to scream at Lydia to get out of the doorway so I can get past and get out of the building. Or... I don't know, I'm trying to sneak... Now, this is a non-combat pet. Maybe I'm trying to sneak up on a bad guy, right? I'm I'm creeping around, I got my gun out, and I'm going to come around and get him. And then you're not, your combat pet just leaps out Leroy Jenkins style and ruins the whole thing. Also, as you can see, while he gets stuck in place, he'll just teleport straight to you. You don't have to worry about this companion being slower than the speed of smell, and you're always having to stop and wait for him to catch up. Because some of the games, they'll just literally just stop and wait for you. Because you got too far ahead, and it drives me crazy. And lastly, he can't get caught, because he disappears during combat. So on the PTB right now, there is the combat patch where we can fight certain things. I'm not going to go too heavy into it. I don't want to get into spoiler territory there. But there are things we can fight, and when you get into combat, he just disappears. He won't help you fight, and he'll get away, which means they're not going to catch him, and you don't have to go and, I don't know, find the cage that he's in, Mui and Planet of Lana, and try to uh, get him back. But I want to show you something special about him that I don't think everybody knows. Alright, so I think by now everybody knows what the Underdust is, and that you need some form of an oxygen tank to get down here and actually survive any length of time. You'll notice, watch my oxygen bar on the bottom middle, it goes down. So you have these guys right here, I think everybody understands that, and that allows you to breathe air when you are getting low on it. So you're out here, you're exploring, you're doing your thing. Let's see if I can get him to spawn in. There he is. And let's say you're getting really low. I'm going to speed this up and let myself get real low. Alright, now as you've noticed, my screen's got this gnarly little green because I've gone below 50% and it's telling me, Hey man, you probably should back, get back and get a breath so I could run back to the elevator. I could run over to the, one of those things if I had a crystal battery or... What if I pet the pet? <laughs> Did you notice that? Besides, it's adorable. I'm back to full oxygen. As far as I can tell, there is no cooldown for this. You can do this as many times as you want and get your breath all the way back. So, no longer having to worry too much about these. Now, I will have a caveat here. Let's see. Let me see if I can get into a spot. I can't get into there. Um, let me try to here. Try to find, see if I can get up in here. All right, so I'm up in here. Let's see if I can pet him right here. 
not enough space. There are some requirements to this, so you need to be in an open air enough location in order to do it. And now when you eventually get back to your ship and it's time to settle down, you just come back over to the thing, hold E again to stop following, and the little guy is all happy back in his bed. Thanks for watching everyone.